Watch your knee. Oh, sorry. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Get your head down. Get it down. It's down. It's down. You get down. I am. Yeah. Good. Good. Good hit. Good hit. Good. Oh, good. Good. Harry. Oh, that's good. Let's do that again. Watch out. Watch out now. Don't hold it too tight. Not too tight. See? If you hold it too tight, you'll drop it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You had a, you had a steel grip on it. You gotta be loose. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> See what you mean. Very good. Nice. I've got it. What, are you going to lug that around all day? I'll drop it at home for you. Whose home? Yours? Yeah, my place. Oh, it's not heavy. I'll lug it around. Gretchen, it's not a permanent arrangement if your fencing bag sits in my closet for 24 hours. I don't want to move in with you, Michael. I already told you that. What does this have to do with living together? Let's be honest, OK? You keep taking my things and leaving them in your house. You are trying to move me in without my noticing it. Oh, come on. That would be insane. I don't want to live with you. How can you teach history and have such a short memory? Why don't you try it for a while? It's fun. You buy dishes together, you have people over, and then you talk about them in the bathroom while you're brushing your teeth. How do you know you wouldn't like living with somebody? Because I lived with someone for three years when I was married. Yeah, but not with me. Look, we both have classes. Don't, don't decide anything right now. Think about it for a while. Take your time. Think it over. I'll talk to you in an hour. That same question keeps coming up over and over again. How do you discipline a large, freedom-loving society? I mean, there's no doubt that the colonies wanted what John Adams called the sweets of liberty. But if, if they were going to get that freedom, they were going to have to leave their homes. They were going to have to obey orders. Uh, they were going to have to march in step. And they hated that. Uh, von Steuben had a hell of a time just uh, drilling them. Yes, you have a question? Who's going to play von Steuben? That's their department. I just wrote the book. Anybody have any questions about, uh, you know, like, uh, history? Yeah. Yes? Is it true that they're going to use the people from the town as extras? Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't we break a little early and see what's going on? <laughs> don't forget, Friday is our last class. I have to have your papers in by then.
the director and producer of Sweet Liberty. Hi. Hi. What made you decide to make this picture in Sayville? Well, most of the story happened within a couple of miles of here. Uh huh. And uh, you don't get that in Burbank. They're great, aren't they? These are our local boys. They get together every year to reenact the American Revolution. Check this out. Look at these guys. Hey, Michael Burgess. Hey, will you let me get off the bus? Hey, Michael, it's me, Stanley Gould. I'm here. Uh, will you let me off the bus? Hello. I wrote the screenplay. How did you know me? How did I know you? This is my bike. <laughs> Idiots. Look, look at those dog-eared pages. Hmm? Is that dedication to the written word? Yeah? Wonderful work. Maniacs and tights. Shooting. I'm getting out of here. Come on. Listen, I can't tell you how proud I am to be working on material by Michael Burgess. After 20 years of slaving in the schlock mines, to suddenly be associated with literature. It's incredible. Incredible. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Stanley Gould. Excuse me. Stanley Gould. I have to get right to my suite. I'm the writer. So I'm the stunt coordinator. So you can fall down later. I have writing that can't wait. My suite, please. Oh, look at this. It's a shoebox. Not even a piece of fruit. I need pears, bananas, the works. I'm a writer. I have to chew on things. Now. I'll do what I can. Yes, you do what you can. And grapes, plenty of grapes. Oh, Michael, come on, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Hmm? I have an incredible treat for you. Oh, the script, thanks. I'll read this tonight. What do you mean? Come on, sit, sit. Hmm. I'm gonna take a shower. When you laugh, tell me what page you're on. When I laugh at what? When you laugh at what? <laughs> read, read. <laughs> what a treat. <laughs> So, do you love it? What is this? It's the movie. This isn't my book. There are all these naked women, and people keep falling off their horses. It's a comedy. Where's my book? So far, there isn't one single thing in here that looks familiar. Are you kidding me? Every single one of these pages is something they kept in. Hey, look. That great line of Washington's. Of course, I had to get that to the group. And this piece, I had real trouble keeping that. You're not upset, are you? I think I should warn you, I have a sword in that bag. It's still your book. Okay, so I changed a couple of the jokes. It didn't have any jokes. No wonder they never showed me the script. And then the director comes through here to look at locations, but he's too busy to see me. I'm beginning to get how this works. Yeah, well, tomorrow he sees me. Michael! It's very important that you do not tell the director you don't like my script. This is extremely important. There's a question of death here. Nervous breakdowns. This is a piece of shit. Of course it is. I hate it. But we can work on it. You and I, together, we can make it better. Not, not different. Because, of course, the sets are built and the actors fit the costumes. But we can definitely make it better. Infinitely better. We'll work on it together. We are the two musketeers. I'm not a musketeer. I'm a historian. If they don't like this story the way it happened, I'll take it back. They won't let you take it back. Give me this. It's theirs. They bought it. Give me this, will you? But we can fix it. St Stanley. Look, just try not to mention the word shit, OK? Yes. The American Revolution was not a goddamn vaudeville show. Well, all right, we'll fix it. Look, Michael, please, listen, listen. Michael, my life is hanging here. I'm a playwright, an author. But you know how I started out in this business? Writing questions for game shows. Smutty double entendres for the match game. John showed Mary his big hot blank. But finally, I had the chance to work with a Pulitzer Prize winner. 
Do you think I would put anything ahead of you? I'm yours. Walk on me, step on me. I'm yours. Curse me. Tell me I've no talent. But just let a little of you rub off on me. Michael, tell me I'm yours. What choice have I got? None. You're mine. I love you. Don't do that. You want to work on those mushrooms? Yeah. This is fun, isn't it? Uh -huh. I mean, working together like yeah. this, isn't it? Mm hmm But will you look at the things we could be doing if we moved in together? Oh, yeah. You realize in all the time we've known each other, we have never made a salad together? Ever? I guess that accounts for this emptiness I feel. Is that how you cut an onion? Yeah. <laughs> Can I show you something? Okay, come on, do me. You don't cut the part where the root is. That's that's what makes you cry. You cut the other end. Just slice that off. You peel it back from there. And then you slice from there. Michael, how do you know that? I read widely. stem out of lettuce. Why well, usually hack at it with a knife? Move your hand. <laughs> that is the weirdest proposal anyone's ever made. What did I say? What? Proposal, right? No, no, what do you mean? Sorry, Michael, I didn't mean to shake you up. Um, can we take a walk? Yeah. Uh, I, I just want to talk for a minute, all right? Sure. Okay? Yeah. Listen, I, I want to be I, I want to be fair with you, you know? Michael, relax, okay? I don't want to get married. I mean, it's not that I haven't thought about it. I mean, I love you. It's just that I I couldn't do that to you. Do watch me. Sidetrack you like that. I kept thinking of all the years you put into your career. You have a responsibility to that. You are so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of shit. <laughs> Look, we've both been married before. We're leery of it. You're real leery. We both are. What do you mean I'm leery? Look, I'm happy this way. Teach, make quilts, work on my book. In between, we squeeze in a little fencing and some really nice lovemaking. So let's just settle for perfect. Mm. This is better than salad. Mmm. Butter pecan. Oh, is that good pistachio? Mmm. Mmm. Let me say we go inside and talk this over for 15 or 20 minutes. Well, I have a class. 10 minutes. Okay. I really like that pistachio. Pecan makes me crazy. <laughs> Don't forget, he's the director. He comes on like a kid, but he's tough. Where would they get those Scottish broadswords? Michael, pay attention. He's smart and he's tough. Don't screw around with him. I can't believe how real this is. Yeah, yeah, fine. You just let me do the talking, okay? I know how to. Huh? Michael, what are you doing? Come on. What's the matter? Come on. Come. Oh. Hey, Faith! Come on, I'll introduce you. Faith! This is the man who wrote the book, Sweet Liberty. Michael Burgess, Faith Healy. Hello. How do you do? You look wonderful in that outfit. I pray you, sir, do not make me blush, as it ill becomes me. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> nice to see you, darling. We have a meeting. You look great, really. You're going to be fantastic in it. It's very nice meeting you. She's Mary Slocum. She's the woman I wrote about. Where'd they find her? Where'd they find her? Don't you go to the movies? She even speaks like her. Actors. We should 
explain to Mr. Hodges the three distinct phases of this yeah, particular Yeah, fellas, we battle. don't really need the whole battle. Well, you, you know see, I mean? Mr. Hodges, we reenact the Battle of Cowpens every year, yeah, and every it's year. a very, very intricate deal. But I'm just, sure it is. Just as firing the, the musket, there are 14 different motions mm -hmm. that we have to go through. And there can be as many as 19 different that motions. Is, that's loading great. That is correct. Listen, Listen 19 Floyd, in well, thank you. There's right here. half cock fire lock. half Handle cartridge. Cartridge. Okay, listen, listen. Close prison. Prison. That's good. John, John is going to tell you exactly what we need, okay? This is Michael Burgess. Oh, hi. Pleasure to meet you. That's some book you wrote. Oh, thank you. We're going to have a lot of fun. Did you read the script? Yes, I did. He did a hell of a job for a guy who can't speak English, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh, the script is, uh, is uh, very interesting. There are only a couple of things I have a problem with in the script. Yeah, what are they? The story and the dialogue. Uh, story and the dialogue. Well, none of that ever happened. Well, who really knows what happened a couple of hundred years ago, Michael? You know. I do. I've read their diaries and their letters. I mean, uh, this, this, this script is all bullshit. Bullshit? Stanley, I knew we should have left out the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got this wonderful woman, Mary Slocum. Yeah. Her husband's off fighting the British. Then this, this British Colonel Tarleton comes to her farm with his troops and then takes over the place. Yeah, that's what we got. What's wrong with that? You got her falling in love with him. I mean, that's impossible. She, Tarleton was a vicious, ruthless beast. Why would she fall in love with this guy? He's number four at the box office. What? Michael, Elliot James is an international star. He comes on the screen in Paris. They wet their pants in Manila. If she doesn't fall in love with him, the audience will set fire to the ushers. Why did you people buy my book? Why? Because it's full of earthy, sexy, funny stories. Michael, you don't realize what a good comedy writer you are. That's good, guys. That's going to work great. All right, set it up for me. Let me... See. I was trying to make history readable, not obliterate it. I put 10 years of my life into that book. You Careful. just threw it away. Yeah, Michael, please listen to me. I'm a fan. I'm the one who saved this project. This picture wasn't turnaround. What is, what's that turnaround? What is that? It's hey, canceled. John. Nobody knew what to do with this. I was the only one who saw how we could make this appealing to kids. I mean, you realize who goes to see movies. 80% of them are between the ages of 12 and 22. And you know what kids like? What? Well, this may sound silly to you, but kids go completely ape if you do three things in a picture. Defy authority, destroy property, and take people's clothes off. What does that have to do with American history? Now, come on, Michael, think about it for a second. Why do kids defy authority? Because they're in rebellion. The American Revolution, Michael, was the ultimate rebellion. And they destroyed property. So all we had to do with this lunatic's help was to get their clothes off. Bill, listen, I want that fireplace to be Excuse practical. Me. Wait, a minute. Really me. Big I want you to go back to the book. She does not fall in love with Tarleton. Okay. Hey, let, let's F.O. the statue. Go ahead, I'm listening. Please. I want you to go back to the book. I'm sorry to be rough about this, but it means a great deal to me. I'm curious, what makes you think you can tell me what to put in the picture? My contract. Here, paragraph. Paragraph 5D. I have yeah. full right, right of consultation. You have to consult uh, with me uh, on right, everything right, you do. All right, all right, let me see. You really don't like the love story. I hate it. I want it out. And you don't like the dialogue. It's it's all got to be changed. Okay. We just had a consultation. Nice talking to you. Charlie, come here. I thought that room was going to be green. Green is a funny color. I want all of it green. Feel better? Better? Yeah. You were sort of, sort of suicidal last night. That's why I let you stay over. What was the problem? I'm making a movie of your book. Oh, God. Who asked you? Uh, mm. Michael. Mm hmm? This is, this is not the best time for this. Mm. Mm. Careful. Be careful with the, with the quilt. Mm. The hell with the quilt. Ah, ah, I've been bitten. Something bit me. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with dangerous implements in bed? I like sewing in bed. You ought to know things like that before you try and live with someone. You know, it's very inconvenient not being able to keep my own robe here. Really? Oh, God, I have these ugly little gouges all over my behind. No kidding. Let's see. How long have you been sitting there doing that? About four hours. If you couldn't sleep, why didn't you do some writing? I wanted to do this. You know, you know, you have the ability to head your department. And instead of working on your book, you're sewing blankets. This 
is not a blanket. This is a replica of a 200-year-old quilt with a very timely message. Get it? I can't believe that you would waste your time like that. Waste my time? All right, okay, maybe that's a little harsh. But I take it the going to bed with you, however, was not a waste of time. I'm sorry, okay? I'm upset. I have large chunks missing from my ass. Are you getting dressed, or are we going to try something kinky? It's 11 o'clock. We have to go to that reception. And I have to bring my mother some food first. Good, I'll go with you. No, no, that's okay. I'll meet you at the reception. Michael, I made some chicken for her. I'd like to take it to her. Gretchen, I'm a grown man. I can feed my mother by myself. Michael, what is your problem? Why can't I come see your mother with you? You want the truth? You want the absolute truth? I don't want to get married, okay? Who asked you? Oh, please, what am I, blind? Every step you take, you move a little deeper into my life. You bring my mother chicken, you hug her, you kiss her. All of a sudden, I'll have three children and a picket fence. Look, you don't want to get married. That is absolutely terrific. We'll keep seeing each other, we'll make love, we'll have these exciting little fights. But I am not living with you. My shirt looks like it's been used to clean a windshield. By an iron. Winkles are the least of it. Here, smell it. Smell my shirt. Thanks, I'm not into that. No, I want you to see how inconvenient this arrangement is. Come here, smell it. Smell it. Get your shirt out of my nose. You are getting very crazy. Oh, but not letting me keep one clean shirt in your closet or a robe in your bathroom. That's sane, right? Don't put that on. Don't put it on. You're not coming with me. Behind. Fine, how's yours? How much you care. How are we gonna make love if you had to come over here? I forgot. I dread coming here so much I didn't want to think about it. Who's there? Michael, Mom, Gretchen and I brought you some food. Oh, just a minute, dear. Mom, that's the one where you have to push the key all the way in and turn it. Push and turn. I'm locked in. Call the police. Mom, turn the key. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Burgess. Dear. Hello. I bless you, dear. That's the door. I have such a I can never get it unlocked. Mom, what, what if there were a fire in here? How would you get out of here? I'd like to be safe. We brought you some food, Mrs. Burgess. Should I put it in the kitchen? No, just put it on the TV. There's <laughs> Rex. Yeah. Michael, say hello to Rex. Hello, Rex. Rex, you know Michael. You love him. Oh. Talk to him. Talk to him. See how happy he is? He loves you. So, uh, Rex, how's it going? Incredible summer we're having, isn't it? I mean, you able to keep cool and everything? Well, this has been great talking to you, Rex. When he hears you on the telephone, he smiles. Mom, how about if I find a nurse who wants to work part-time? You know who would take good care of me? Johnny Del Vecchio. He loves me. Well, you haven't seen Johnny Del Vecchio in a long time. Well, I want you to find him for me. Mom, I think he wanted to end that relationship 25 years ago. Whatever gave you that idea? He moved to another town. He got an unlisted phone number. He changed his name. He's done everything but get plastic surgery. I think he's trying to tell you something. Now, look at those smiling eyes. Sometimes, when I look at him, he winks at me. Oh, yeah? I want you to find him for me. I don't know where he is. Go oh, find him. I don't, I can't. Oh, you can do anything you set your mind to. I've told him, and he can do it. I've told him that since he was a little boy. Why, he got his doctorate when he was 25 years old. Now, if you can do that, you can certainly find Johnny Del Vecchio. Mom, he's out of your life. He's gone. Leave him alone, for God's sake. But he loves I, me. It doesn't matter. He, can, he can't be found. He's gone. Why don't, I don't understand why you just can't let it go. Can't, why, why, why can't you give it up? I mean, he's gone. Is that the way to talk to a dying mother? 
I tell you what, Mrs. Burgess, why don't I make you some lunch? Sure. Some poison food would just finish me off. Yeah, well, they were all out of poison food today. We got the other kind. This looks really good. Potato salad and eggplant parmesan. I made you some chicken. I don't eat anything that hasn't been sitting on the TV for 24 hours. The radiation kills whatever poison they put in there. Um, uh, we have to go. We have, we have to meet the movie people. Oh. Oh, did you tell them that I think Jackie Gleason should play George Washington? No, not yet. No. Oh, he's a very good actor. I know. Yeah. He's more than a comedian. Oh, I know. I know. I gotta go, okay? Well... Say goodbye to you, oh. Rex. Goodbye, Rex. I love your collar. Is it new? Give him a little kiss. No. Not on the mouth. I'm not kissing the dog, all right? I'm sorry. I just don't want to kiss the dog. How do you get this? Bye, Mrs. Bye. You know, I'm making you Bye. No. Maybe we can find your friend for you. Good. What? Michael, what did I do? Just tell me what I did. How could you tell her we'd find her old boyfriend? I'm trying to get her to stop talking crazy, and you talk crazier than she does. Well, because I felt sorry for her. Look, in a way, she's my mother, too. No, no, she is not your mother. She's my mother. Go get your own mother. Hi, I'm Bill Edson. I have the Eckert Drugstore on Main Street. Oh, yes, how are you? My son plays the saxophone like an angel. You've got to find a spot for him in your movie. I'm sorry, I don't have anything to do with the movie. I just wrote the book from which the movie has not been taken. Sexual part. <laughs> <laughs> Does your husband teach here? No, uh, those who can't teach are put in charge. <laughs> <laughs> He's president of the university. He's over there in the corner talking to the guy. You mean like this? What does that uh, entail, actually, being president? Mostly leaving me alone while he goes off to raise money. I can understand something. I felt trapped when I was married. I, we were both miserable. I spent five years... Thank you. I spent five years of my life turning myself inside out to make it work. And when it was over, I felt like a failure. I don't think I can go through that again. Michael, I teach literature. If I wanted to marry you, I know how to say it in plain Anglo-Saxon. Yeah, well, that's the point. You don't say anything. You just maneuver. I want... Michael! What? Why don't you meet Elliot James? This is the one man in the world that can make Dr. Lip. Elliot James... Well, hello. Uh, hello. Gretchen Carlson. Delighted to meet you. Delighted. <laughs> Thank you. I've always been a really big fan of yours. How very kind of you. Elliot, can we have you for a picture with the governor? Elliot, I'm introducing you to Michael Burgess. Michael wrote the book. Oh, it's brilliant. Very few historians can breathe life into the past as you can. Well, thank you. That's, that's really very uh, nice. It, it, it'll just take a second. The we'll have dinner, dear boy. We'll have dinner. He likes you. That's wonderful. Yeah. You know, maybe we ought to just take a little vacation from each other. I mean, you're a hell of a person to talk about maneuvering. You insist on moving in with me, but you want to make sure you don't get trapped. I can't even cut an onion without you giving me a lecture on my career. And why are you so concerned about my career, huh? Because you think the more independent I am, the less I want to get married. Uh -huh. That's the real reason, isn't it? Isn't it? You don't mean all that. Then maybe we ought to take a little vacation from each other. Yeah. You want your freedom? You got it. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself. Well, I'm sorry. You were the one who said we don't want to go ahead and get married. Anymore. Look, why don't we talk about this for a minute, okay? But just Look, you want me to move into your house, but not into your life. Forget it. Listen, why don't we talk about it for two seconds, all right? 
Gretchen. Goodbye, Michael. Gretchen. Oh, it must be just awful coming to these dinky little towns and having people just throw themselves at you. Not always. Don't you just want to get away sometime? I uh, have my little diversions. James? Ah, oh, Mr. James, this is a real pleasure. Oh, hello. Is this a 355? Yeah, you know choppers? Yes, I flew one in Korea. Huh. Of course, they were fairly small then. <laughs> a bit like hanging on by your fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I have a look? Sure, go here. Thank you. Uh, get in, see what it feels like. You know, I love that picture you made with the submarine. I saw that three times. Oh, yes, how nice. Yeah. I saw it once in a theater and twice on cable. Would you hold this for me, mm -hmm. please? Sure. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Oh, let me get you some more. Oh, please don't bother. Hey, my pleasure. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> isn't this a lovely machine? Woo! Mm. Pretty, isn't it? Have you ever been up in one of these? No. No? Elliot, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait a minute! Where are you going? Hey, Mr. Mr. James! Mr. James! Elliot, what are you doing? I'm trying to remember how this thing works. Michael, open the door. I almost had a fright. I want to rewrite that scene they're shooting tomorrow. Now? You said we could fix it, and I want to fix it. Come on, we'll go to my place. Great. You want to work in the middle of the night? That's absolutely fine. Any time, any place. I pledge you my brains, my heart, my mouth, and my sacred honor. Those are the words of Thomas Jefferson.
Carol. Yeah. Isn't it great? Leslie, don't you look lovely? You were so sweet to do this for me. I'm just absolutely thrilled. Maya, don't you look lovely? How can I ever repay you? I'm just so excited. Would you mind um, helping me learn my lines? You mean it? Yeah. I'd love to. We could go off together to my trailer. It's very quiet. God, I can't believe it. I'm in the movie. You got to remember that all directors are tyrants. He has to feel that he's the whole show, you yeah. know? Yeah. You got to convince him it was his idea. Yeah, okay, in the first I'll tell you what. Why don't you just wait for me over there? I'll be right with you. Just keep walking. Act like we're chatting. I have the impression that you're interested in portraying Mary Slocum as she really was. In truth, I am, sir. Yeah, right, the way she talked and everything. Indeed. Right, okay. I, uh, I have a copy here of everything she said to Tarleton when they met. Word for word, exactly. Do you want to see that? Yes. Keep walking, he's looking at us. You, uh, you brought this stuff from Hollywood, all this equipment and everything? Yes. Yeah, pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. Don't let them see you take this. They have a rule. The writer's not supposed to have anything to do with words. Have you seen my bonnet? Nice. Oh, good, great. All right, I'll get a copy to Elliot, too. No, I, I want to be high so I can see the horses, you know? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Michael? Yeah. Michael, don't, don't talk to the actors, all right? It, it throws them. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize. Uh, she, was, she was just showing me around. Sure. Okay, guys, I don't want to take the time to lay track, okay? Let's do the whole shot on the crane. And eight. Is, uh, is Elliot James in this trailer over here? Yeah, I think he's got company. Oh, I think he's got company. Hey, sit in the you didn't, you didn't even take the five the last time I threw it. Hey, you want that? I'll take that. This car. Six. Six. Three? Good. Maybe you can use a seven. But you know something? I can use a seven. I, mean, I can't buy this seat. Look, really, it's really complicated. Suddenly you've got a husband in there. We never had a husband. I really can't buy this seat. It's so wonderful in this movie. You start adding stuff and it's going to wreck it. I, I read it again. I'm sure you mean well, but the scene just doesn't work. Well, it just takes well, a little too... I love you. Oh, not you too, Elliot, please. Look, you guys ever heard of Less is More? Why is he wearing a red coat? Because he's British. Tarleton wore green. He called him the Green Dragoon. No kidding. You're about to lose the whole movie and you're worried about haberdashery? Oh, for... Hey, come here, yeah. come here, pay but attention this is... to this. If the actors insist on it, your dialogue is gonna be in the scene. Why? Why would he listen to them? Because he can't make the movie without them. The actors get a headache, the whole picture goes right to the toilet. I'll argue with you. You should do this. I'll be in my trailer. I'm sure that you can find someone wait a minute. else who can do it much better than I can. Wait, wait. Because frankly, I don't know how people try it. There's a lot of ways to do this. Much better than the other I'm sure it is. We could do this scene. We could do it my way. We could do it. We'll try it. I don't take it. We can take it. We'll learn it. I'm sure it's easy. Okay? Go. Go. All right? Right. Let's not waste any more. By the pleasure, the best of mistress of the house. He belongs to my husband. Oh. Okay, this is picture. I ask you folks to be absolutely quiet, please. Quiet, please. Sweet liberty, scene six, take one. Roll it. Hold on, everybody. Speed. Mark. Bedroom. Okay, watch out for the crane, everybody. It's going to move. And action. <laughs> Have I the pleasure of seeing the mistress of the house? It belongs to my husband. Is he at home? He is not. Is he a rebel? No, sir. He is in the army of his country fighting against invaders. I fear, madam, we differ in our opinion. A friend to his country will be a friend to the king, our master. Slaves only acknowledge a master in this country. Madam, the service of His Majesty requires the temporary occupation of your property. There is only myself and a few servants. We are your prisoners. I'm sure I shall be able to find some room in the house for you. 
If not in the house, perhaps in the stables. It'll be associated with literature. I knew we could do it. You just have to know how to go about it, you know? Uh, wait, wait, wait a huh? second, wait. Oh, yeah, right. Thank you. Oh, it is I who should thank you, sir. I'm dining in this evening. Might I have the pleasure of your company at a light supper? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. It's a real treat to finally meet Mary Slocum. <laughs> I am preparing only garden greens these days. I earnestly hope that will please you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I make a great salad. Can I, you know, can I bring anything? Oh, perhaps just a nice, plump tomato. <sighs> I'll, bring, I'll bring a tomato. All right. Here. That's for remembrance. Supper day? Great, yeah. Perfect. Get out of here. <laughs> stuff on the table. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. No. No, I'm not comfortable with that. Look, li Ed, they came to us, so if they don't like it, tell them to shove it. You know? All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. So what have you got in there? Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. They have Andy in Sayville. What do you think this is? A hick town? They have watercress, too. And you have scallions and balsamic vinegar. Oh, my God. We're in salad heaven. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Hello. Yeah. No. No. Did you hear what I said? I said no, okay? Ed, listen to me. You are authorized to tell these guys to go screw themselves. Okay? Bye. What? I'm, I'm trying to get used to how different you look. You, you know, you're two different people. Oh, well, if all I could be was two different people, I'd be out of business. You should have met me when I was playing a coal miner. Oh, you played boy. a coal miner? You didn't know I played a coal miner? Oh, oh, yeah, the coal miner's daughter, sure. No, no, that was Sissy Spacek. <laughs> no, I didn't play anybody's daughter. I played a coal miner. I was nominated for that. But, <laughs> no, just sort of passed you by. Well, I don't keep up with too many things that happened after 1820. <laughs> well, at least I know you're not here because I'm a movie star. Actually, I, I think I kind of fell in love with you as Mary Slocum. What's she like? Well, like you, you're her. No, I need, I need the details. You know, I mean, how does she talk to servants? You know, does she want people to think she's smart, or is, she, or is she a coquette, or what can you tell me about her? I brought a diary. Is that interesting? I would kill to read her diary.
from left again to me. His company has taken to the hills north of here. He spoke of an impending battle with the British under the command of the infamous oh, Bloody He fills my dreams, and his absence kindles in me such a longing as I cannot bear it. I see him still by the bedroom door. On the day he left, he said, My, my dearest, dearest Mary, Mary, may God watch over you. And I said, don't let them kill you, Jamie. And his words to me were. Would any man die, Mary, if he could come home to your sweet kisses? And we embraced. I... I crave his voice, his arms. How do you suppose she makes love? I wonder. What is this? What am I watching here? They want to show you their stuff. They want to do their whole thing for you. Oh, yeah? Claire? Yeah. He sticks it in the ground and actually pole vaults over the British gun. I use this here to vault. <laughs> a man in cow pants actually did that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm sorry. Claire, I want to get the first shot. I haven't got much time. Well, it, it's very realistic. You know, I really liked where you guys were falling down out there. Very professional. Look OK? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought uh, a couple of you were actually disabled. Didn't you anything? Well, hell, I found a lot of them were disabled. Huh? Floyd? Yeah. Floyd, uh, have you ever seen one of these? This is a spawn too. Yeah, I'll pole vault with it. You pole vault with it. Yeah. Uh, can I see it? Oh, sure thing. Call it a spawn tune. That's quite a large spawn tune, ain't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you ever see a spawn tune that big before? Well, I knew a guy in Arizona who had quite a large spawn tune, but huh? I don't think you could pole vault with it. Oh, thanks, you guys. We're okay as long as the weather holds, but I want that other scene set up just in case it breaks well, up here. We'll set up. Here. Yeah, set up the well, tracks. I want to be ready for scene, what is it? Well, 35. Scene 35, yeah. 35. You know, I have that scene coming up where I do needlework. Yeah. Three weeks ago, I asked for a sewing teacher. Right, right. When you're right, you're right. Claire, make sure she gets somebody, really. I mean, and I still only have one telephone line in my Winnebago. My no. contract calls for two. For two, right. I mean, Sure, I'm sorry. And my toilet doesn't work? I mean, come on. The toilet doesn't work. You getting this? Not running as fast That's... as I can. And, and I'd like Michael Burgess on the set whenever I'm working. He knows the period. I'll see if he's available. Great. OK, well, thanks. I got to get dressed. Anytime. I should really try to avoid her when she's in street clothes. No, I don't know what it is. What? Come here. What? Come here, I want to talk to you. What is it? I, uh, I've had a request from Faith that you be on the set when she is shooting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited about that. She had a long list of complaints, and you came after the broken toilet. What? What? When Faith's here, I'm here. <laughs> Stanley, don't kiss me all the time, all right? You're gonna be on the set. My name is gonna be on a masterpiece. Now, we gotta be careful of the politics here. What about Elliot? What about him? Well, he's gonna want you, too. If she wants you and he doesn't, we're dead. And if he knows that she wanted you first, he won't want you. It's crazy. But that's the way it works. You gotta go after him. What do I do? Same as you did with her. I don't think so. No, 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 no. You get to know him. 
He schmooze. He get his confidence. He reads a new scene. It's in the picture. Look, look. He's restless. He's always looking for action. You fence, right? Yeah, I fence. Yeah. Maybe he wants to work out with you. Why do we have to be devious about this? Why can't we just show him what we write? Look, this is studio politics. You take care of the art. I'll handle the slimy stuff. Give, give it to me. Give it to me. No, Elliot, I don't want you to do it. This is a dangerous stunt. Listen, I can listen, do it. on the horse, right? You come riding up to the bushes over there. Yeah. You try to jump over, but the horse yeah. stops short, right? The yeah. horse refuses, so you go flying over the horse's neck right into the water. So, Elliot. Make sure you have a camera on my face. I want them to see it's me. No, Elliot, come on. No, we've got a stuntman to do that. No, no, no. Don't trouble your stuntman. I do my own stunts. Well, you, what happens if you land on a rock or something and break your back? Elliot, I'm out of business. I'll send you flowers. Okay, I'm only gonna do this once. All cameras ready. Everybody concentrate. Elliot, please be careful. And action! Come on! Thank you. Could you go stand over there, please? Wait. About a mile away. I told him you're a great fencer. You do know how to fence, right? I fence. I'm a fencer, yeah. Okay, just fence. Don't mention the script. Fine. Right. Get to that later. Okay. Just go step by step. Step by step. Elliot? Here he is. Michael, I'm delighted you could come and play with me. Hey, guys, have fun. <laughs> I understand you fence a bit. A little, yeah. How are you? Pretty good? Well, I, I do all right. Let's see. Not bad. You have a fairly quick hand. Are, are we going to use uh, jackets and masks? Don't worry. We won't need those. I won't lay a blade on you. And you certainly won't lay a blade on me. not to let those little openings go by. Sorry, you're not hurt, are you? No, 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 no. no. no I'm, 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 I'm so ashamed. Come on now, let me drive you into town and get you a new no, shoe. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank no, you very please, much. Please, I, I insist, Michael. Please, please. No, I'm, you, I, I, really I, I would, need would need feel much better. No, it's all right. I it's, don't need a it's, shirt. It's, I'm fine. Thank I'll, you very I'll, much. I'll drive you in. This, this is fine. Good. I can put this back together. Please. please, it's the least I can do. All I came here for was to find out if you read what I wrote. Yes, we must talk about it in the car. I'm, I'm sure it's very good. You didn't, you didn't read it? Well, not literally. Mr. James, Mr. James, I'll take you. No, no, I'll be fine, thank you. Uh, Mr. Hodges said you were never supposed to drive yourself. Oh, really? How odd. Get in, Michael. Get in. Uh, Mr. Hodges said I was supposed to drive. Tell Mr. Hodges I'll be back in no time at all. I really wish I could read what we write. Watch, 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 watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I should never have let you fence without a jacket. But I do these idiotic things. As a result, my life is an absolute mess. Oh, yeah? I'd never put you down the hill if I hadn't been so distracted. Uh, well, what what seems to be the, the problem? Well, my marriage, for one thing. I have a wonderful wife and I adore her. But I've been very naughty with several of the ladies in the village. 
I always do that. It's incredibly self-destructive. Elliot, Elliot, there's, there's a... No, 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 Elliot, there's a... Elliot, fire! Ah! Tired? Yes. You know what my problem is? The way they smell. The perfume of their skin, it's, it's so intoxicating. I told my wife I'd never even look at other women if only I could cut off my nose. What did she say? She said I was aiming too high. Michael, I'm sorry. They tried to reach you at the college and, and somebody thought of calling me. What's the matter? Your mother had some difficulty breathing. And the paramedics took her to the hospital. Where? What hospital? Come on, Michael, I'll take you. Don't be long. I need you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How bad is she? Well, they had to revive her. She won't eat. Her whole body is breaking apart. She stopped breathing? Yeah. The guy from the drugstore is delivering her makeup, and, you know, she sort of passes out and turns blue. God damn it. She won't let me bring anybody in to help her. Nobody. We're all trying to kill her. She's right over here. Your son is here to see you, Mrs. Burgess. Hi, Mom. How are you feeling? I'm fine, and I'm going to stay that way, too. You look good, Mrs. Burgess. You know they're going to do experiments on me here. What do you mean, tests? Experiments? They're going to take out all my nerves. They thought I was sleeping, but I heard every word they said. Why would they take out your nerves? How do I know? Maybe they sell them. Mom, why haven't you been eating? I can't go into the kitchen. Why not? Because I saw a certain person in there. You saw the devil in the kitchen? You've been sleeping in the living room for 11 years because the devil is in the bedroom. How did he get into the kitchen? Well, I certainly don't know. We don't sit around discussing it. Maybe he's hungry. Well, look, let me, let me just explain something. You won't go into the kitchen, and you won't let me bring somebody in to cook for you. You're liable to starve to death. What are we going to do? Go find Johnny Del Vecchio. No, I can't. Why? Because he's a bricklayer. Hmm? No, 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 that's not it. I know he isn't a fancy professor like your father and you, but he really loves me. He wouldn't let them take out all my nerves. <coughs> I gotta go, Mom. I'm sorry. I love you. You're a good son. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Burgess? Dr. Burgess? I wonder if I could give you this. I am also an actress. I have done a lot of community theater. Sadie Thompson in Rain, Emily in Our Town. I have a very broad range. I really hope your mother gets better. Thank you. Nice to see you. Finally. You're back, huh? What's the matter? Oh, everything's marvelous. You were off having fun with your mother. Meanwhile, the picture's falling apart. What happened? Faith wants to do it your way. Elliot wants it the way it was. They won't act. They stand there like two petulant salamis. All right, I'll talk to him. Okay. Elliot, I hear you have a problem with the seed. My dear boy, I love it. It's sheer delight. Just one little thing. Tarleton would never force himself on a woman. <laughs> he, would, he would never force himself on a woman. <laughs> he bragged about it. He said he ravished more women than any man in America. Oh, I very much doubt it. Not our Tarleton. Why don't you have another go at it? The man was a beast, an animal. Yes, I, I can see him as an animal, but I can't see him as a beast. He was an animal and a beast. Look, that's what he did, and that's what he said, and that's it. Uh, well, he doesn't mean that's it in the sense of that's it. How do I mean it? We can talk, we can think, we can toss it back and forth. Yes, you boys are very good at this sort of thing. It shouldn't take you 15 minutes to excise the beast of this. I'll be working on the animal part. I'm home, darling. Thanks for all your support. Michael, he's an actor. You gotta woo him. Romance him. You gotta get his trust. I tried that. He nearly killed me. You gotta do more. Much more. Believe me, I know human relations.
I'll fix it. I'll handle it, okay? Cut. All right. Uh, kill the snow. Okay, guys. Save the snow. Is that a print? Elliot, Elliot, listen. I just gotta have more from you there. You know what I'm talking about? When you yes. say to her, look at her, look at her, and you say, I'm never very far from you, madam. I gotta have that. I can't do it the way you do. No, you I can't. I need that electricity to happen yes. between you. You're never yes. as far from you, madam. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, uh, Claire, could I have a couple more colonials across here, please? Faith? He'll be great. Look, I just talked to him. I can't do it all by myself. I mean, the man is not even looking at me. Well, he's never good on the first take, but he's going to be great. Oh, fine. Well, when you wake him up, call me. I'll be in my trailer. OK, that's lunch one hour. What? It's not working. What? The scene is not working. It's a bullshit scene. So let's write him something else. Why? They won't do that either. They will. As long as we present it right. Presentation is everything. Where are you going? Michael, I'm talking. I'm moving my mouth. I'm saying things. Everything OK? Oh, yeah. But uh, I was thinking about your mother's old sweetheart. I mean, it's her dying wish. Gretchen, he's, he's hiding from her. He can't be found. I found him. You found him? Yeah. I mean, I have his address. He's only 20 minutes away. Oh, Michael, it would be so easy to do this for her. Come on, let's go. Mike, Michael, Michael! What? Where are you going? What about the scene? Come on, we'll work on it in the car. Oh, you there? Okay, Michael. Is this a black seat? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. 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 And what did he say on the page before? Read me that speech. I'm trying to get the script out. Unfortunately, my elbow only bends in one direction. This is a nice car. What is it? The Iron Maiden model? Where'd you find Del Vecchio's address? From the Bricklayers Union. This is a crazy mission. Why are we doing this? I feel guilty, OK? When I was a kid, I didn't know why my mother was so strange. I just hated her for it. Now that she's dying, I feel guilty for hating her. That I can understand. What did I ever do to her? Yeah. Coming. Hi. What can I do for you? Johnny, it's Michael Burgess. Oh? I'm, uh, I'm here about my mother. Oh, uh, we're on our way out. The wife and I. I didn't know you were married. Oh, yeah. I've been married for 40 years. Uh... Well, I, I, uh, I wouldn't have bothered you. It was so, I mean, so long Again? ago. Again? Again? Uh, when is she going to leave us alone? We moved to another town. We pulled out the telephone. What more can we do? Honey, don't be upset. I know, but that's too much. I know. Come, come here to the come body, you honey. I'm surprised at you, an intelligent man with college degrees. I didn't know he was married. Don't come here anymore. Well, bye. Bye. Are you all right? How was that? That's right. Oh. That was a wonderful experience. Thanks a lot. She almost killed you. Who is she? His wife. How could my mother do that to her? How could she do it to me? Because she's crazy. 
Yeah, well, I've had enough of that from her. I want to see something else for a change. Michael, how long has she been crazy? All my life. So why do you expect her to be when she's not? What are you going to tell her? I'm going to tell her what happened. Why? What do you mean, why? Michael, she thinks he still loves her. So if she's got this nutty fantasy, why is that my problem? You owe it to her. Look, when you were a little boy, she told you you could do absolutely anything you set your mind to. Was that the absolute truth? No. Well, look at the strength you got from her. Oh, come on, please. Oh, come on, Michael. She gave to you give to her. I knew you would do this. I knew if I let you come here, you'd start. What am I doing? I knew it. You're opening me up. I don't want to be opened up. All right? Why is it so hard to let her feel good? I don't like to lie. It doesn't make me feel good. Okay, so you don't feel good for a few minutes. Big deal. Michael, go in there and tell her that he loves her. Make her happy, for God's sake. I, I knew you'd do this. I knew it. I'm not going to lie to her, okay? Hi, Mom. Hi, dear. Hi, Mrs. Hi, dear. Virgin. Hi, dear. Have you talked to Mr. Arnold Del Vecchio? Yeah, I did. What did you say? He said he loves you, Mom. He did? Yeah. What else? He said he thinks of you every day. He, he keeps your picture by his bed. He dreams about you. He does? He said he's never known anybody as warm and generous and beautiful and funny. He loves your sense of humor. Well, I am funny. But when is he coming to see me? Oh, he can't. He can't. He's... Um... He had, a, he, he had an accident. What happened? Uh, he got hit in the head with a door. Oh, but he can speak? Yes. Oh, yeah, he can speak, and he says he loves you, and he's always loved you, and he always will. Is he in the hospital? Yes. Yeah. Have him give us adjoining beds. No. See, he's not in this hospital. He's uh, got some, another, another, another hospital. Well, move him to this hospital and let him have a bed right here beside mine. No, Mom, I can't do that. But I'll, look, you know what? I'll, I'll keep bringing you messages from him, okay? But I gotta go now. I, I gotta get back to work. I love you. Okay? All right, dear, but you'll, you'll come back without Johnny Del Vecchio. You were a tough cookie, you know that? You can say that again, Jackson. I'll tell you, I'll never forget that look on her face. I mean, she was, she was like a kid. She was, she was happy. You're terrific, you know that? I know we're taking a little vacation from each other, and I don't know if you want to hear me say this right now, but I think you're a smart, wonderful, terrific person. I mean, I, I don't know if I ought to say it. Why not? No, I, mean, we're not no, I don't mind hearing that. Say it again. You going here, too? Yeah. I'm working on the movie. You're kidding. Doing what? Teaching embroidery. Embroidery? Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, good for you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I, uh, I'm, I'm having lunch with one of the actors. I go this way. So do I. Okay. Well, see you later. Bye. Who are you meeting with? Faith Healy. You too. Yeah, yeah. I have to. Uh, I have to go over a scene with her. Come on in. I'm in the shower. Oh, you're both here. Good. Come on in. Did you meet? Uh, yeah. We're old friends. You teach at the college. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, hi, I'm Faith. Gretchen Carlson. Nice to meet you. Come on in. You, you teach a course in needlework? No, um, I teach American literature. Needlework is sort of my, uh, my sideline. Oh, okay. Sit down. So, what kind of sewing did they do then? Well, uh, they did some amazingly complicated things. Quilts, petty point, tapestry. Uh, they use 
for embroidery, silver, gold, pearls, silk. It was, it was really amazing. Are you staying for lunch? No. I swallowed enough for one day. Hey, John, you send me a seat, buddy? How are you doing here? Oh, hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. Hey, This night shooting sure can get chilly. Yeah, I love it. How are you doing? Uh, it's, it goes the other way. What's that? Your sash goes on the right shoulder. Gosh, I never would have known that. <laughs> so, uh, you fellas getting ready for the big battle? I mean, we're going to be shooting that thing pretty soon now. Well, see, we do this every year, you know, so we're always kind of up all the time. Yeah, we yeah, got it down. Now we really got it down. We should have that baby Menace in our sleep. Number. Well, you see, what I'm talking about is taking the fall. Now, you guys, you fall down great for a Fourth of July show. But in the movies, it's got to be a little different. How's that? Well, when the force of a bullet hits you, it throws you back sort of hard. You have to sort of fly backwards. How do you do that? It's all in the ankles. Oh, say, look, come here. Yeah. I want to show these guys how to do a movie for them. Sure. No problem. Let's go over there. <clears throat> come over here. Sure. <laughs> Would you hold my cartridge box? You bet. Stand over here. I want you to pretend that you have a gun. Just hold up your fingers and go bang, you know, just to give me a cue. Hold up my fingers and say bang? Just get yourself set. All right. Bang. He just flew backwards through the air. Hey, why don't you try it? Now. Okay, just a minute. I gotta get this, this. Did you move out coming through? Uh, just get out of the way, okay? Just back off. All right, here we go. Okay, ready? Bang. Let, let, let me try it again. Okay, shoot. One, two, Come here. two hey, hey. And, and no, I can get it. I really can. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Now we hit him with it. Excuse me. Now he's ready. He's primed. Timing. Timing is everything. Ah, my dear chaps, how nice. I wonder if you could call back in a day and a half. You're busy? Well, I thought we said that Sunday at 3 o'clock. Stanley, let's go. Uh, action, huh? It's always action. Mine never knows, do I? <laughs> Look, Elliot, we were really hoping that we could talk about this now. I tell you what, I'll call you as soon as I can. Oh, oh sure, fine. sure. That's, That's not okay. a good time anyway. Uh -huh. What is it? What happened? Well, what is it? What's the matter? Why don't we step into my room and have a little script talk? Yes, let's step in and have a conversation. Darling, what a bother. My meeting's running late. Hi. I thought I heard you out there. What are you doing here? I'm finding out all about show business. It's fascinating, isn't it? Have we uh, solved it? We've been having this uh, wonderful conference on the script. Leslie, this is uh, Michael Burgess and Gretchen uh, Carlson. Yes, uh, we... Uh... We all know one another. Yeah. It's a small town. Mm. Leslie, as you must know, then, is a musicologist. She's been teaching me some marvelous 18th century songs for the film. Right. I love history. So old. <laughs> so full of events. If you don't mind my saying so, this is a very dull group. I tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll all go for a drive. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't think going. so. I have to be going. I don't actually. I've got to work in my book. We've got to get out of this hotel. You're all looking so wan. Look, look at Michael. Doesn't he look wan? Absolutely. Fun, right? Fun is good for the movie. Michael, don't be wan. No, no, Come no, on. No, not anybody be wan. Now, mm. let's get some fresh air. I don't air. think I should go in. Of course you should go. You'll enjoy yourself. Elliot, at some point in the day, I've got to Stanley, Stanley, please. please. Stanley, not now. I know a place 20 minutes from here, which is the ugliest, most wonderfully tacky... What? What? From time to time, my wife will drop in on location to surprise me. She's here? Stimulating, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Darling! 
Let me take that. We were just setting off for a drive, but I'll get you settled in the hotel. You must be tired. Oh, no, no. I should love to go for a ride. I hear there are some interesting sights around here. Wonderful. Uh, this is Grace, my adoring wife. They all have names, but we'll work on that in the car. We are going to have the best times. We're going to be silly and giddy. We are going to pee in our pants with laughter three times before this day is over. Each and every one of us. All in? Right. Off we jolly well go. I was once so bored on, on a picture in Indonesia, I hired a balloon and tried to escape. They chased after me with automobiles, helicopters, it was wonderful. How many for this? Everyone? Absolutely. You bet. No, no, I don't. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Love no, not me. I have a problem with heights. Gretchen? Oh, no, thanks. I have a problem with falling. Four. Four, please. Come here. I'm not going up on that thing. You want him in our corner? You want a rewrite up there on the screen? Mike will be free, be wild. A little ride on a children's toy. Come on. Have some fun for once in your life. I love it. It's great. Come on, enjoy yourself. How long are you here for? I have to be back in London on Tuesday. That's not very long. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. How long have you known Elliot? You'll enjoy this. Good fun. Yeah, great. Michael, if I may, I'd like to have a little chat with Leslie. Go ahead. Change seats with me. Change seats? We're a mile up in the air. I have to talk to Leslie. Go ahead. I'm not moving. Come on, Elliot. What Come on. Come on. We'll be killed. Elliot! We better sit down before we get to the top. It'll be very dangerous. Get it beaten. Get your leg in. You want to get hurt? What's the matter with you? Great, man. I love it. It's a lot of fun in the movie business, you know? My God, but you smell delicious. Elliot, I think your wife has made something. No, 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 no. Not for a second. Give me your lips. Take your hand off my face. Take your hand off my face. We're dying here. You're worried about your face. I can't kiss you if you don't close your lips. Leslie, oh, no. oh. 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 give me your lips. Just for a moment. Oh. coming home from the air raid shelter with my family and we were so bloody glad to be alive we just locked arms and started to do knees up mother brown when suddenly i swear to god round the corner came winston churchill well we all stopped dead in our tracks i mean god there was winston churchill he looked at us. And do you know what he said? He's up, Mother Brown. He's up, Mother Brown. Are you the table? You must go. E I E I E I O.
My dearest Mary, may God watch over you. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Are you all right? Cut! Now let's go again. Right away, please. Oh, no mas. Can't we get a quieter horse? It nearly hit face. Don't worry, we'll fix it. You won't stay tight. Somebody give that horse a pill. Are you all right, darling? I'm fine. All right, we have 12 fences for the battle scene. Eight just fell out. Will four be enough? Oh, four is not enough. I got 50 acres I have no, to fill out. You're, you're ignoring a... the facts. I mean, OK, yeah, it's true. She did ride all night to tend to wounded, but it wasn't in this battle. Could you hold it just a oh, second? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drag okay, it. Fine. Sorry, sorry. Listen, what about that college uh, fencing team? What about uh, that? Summertime, they're at the beach. Oh, I'll tell you something Shame else. You. On the way home, she did not meet Tarleton in the woods. How do you know? Where were you, hiding behind a tree or something? Listen, you want to help? You really yes, want to? I'm asking you, seriously. I'm trying to, okay, yes. Okay, terrific. Get fitted for a uniform. Get fitted for a uniform? Yeah. You, you, keep, you keep telling me you want to contribute, right, to the historical accuracy yes, of, of this picture. Do, All right, yes. terrific. This is your big chance. Wendy, can you please stop hocking me with these damn nitpicking details? Because it's really Keeping a woman from sleeping with the enemy is not nitpicking. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Any time. No, I'm sorry. Pardon. All right. <laughs> get him fitted for a uniform and get him a sword. How did you? Look, the horse isn't secure now. No wonder we lost the bloody war. Our horses kept running away from us. <laughs> There's no way we're going to get this shot before lunch. Why don't you just relax, OK? Bo, you've got to nail the horse down. Elliot, I swear to God, you're going to love it, OK? Trust me. Artie, would you be so kind? All right, we'll change the transmitter. Ah, oh. give me one of those, sweetheart. Michael, dear boy. How about a short one before lunch? A uh, short one, huh? Oh! Oh! God, God damn it! Oh, shit! What a peculiar lunge. Oh, are you all right, dear boy? You've bent your saber. I'll get you another one. Forget it. I'm not interested. Yes. That's enough for one day, eh? Props, have a look at this. It's all bent. I think if you have a complaint, you ought to take it up with me. Exactly how far do you take being Mary Slocum? How far do you take being in a story? I would stop short of sleeping with George III. Why would you have anything to do with him? Because he's a witty, charming man, and because it helps our scenes. It helps your scenes? When I look in his eyes now, there's someone there. Do you, do you know what it feels like to act with someone who has the emotional depth of an eggplant? You're not at all like her. Where have you been the last 10 weeks? so everybody can see there. The British are over there by those cannons. The Americans come from that house over there. We'll turn around and you'll see what I'm talking about. That's right. Okay, now, watch me and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Can I borrow this gun, please? Thank you. 
Americans coming from over there with their guns like this. Uh, okay? we, we wouldn't hold it like that. Just pay attention, you won't get hurt. They're walking, they're walking with the guns like this. They're walking, 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 walking. They get to here, bang, you shoot. They shoot, you shoot. That's when we do the sight gag. British cannons start going off. The first explosion, look, is over there. Oh. Ah, you gotta turn around, you gotta run back to the house. You're running, 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 running running back to the house, running, listen. You get over there and suddenly there is another explosion right in front of you. Boom. Uh, big surprise, you gotta run back, run back to the British. You're running, running, running back to the British, running, listen. Running, running, running back to the British, and boom. Oh my God, you gotta run back to the house. You're running back and forth like that. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, all right, terrific. If all goes well, this will be relatively hilarious. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to waste any time. I don't want yeah. you to get hurt, okay? Yeah. Trip. Yes, Michael, you have a question. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a question. What the hell are you trying to do here? I'm trying to make a movie here, Michael. In the Battle of Cowpens, the Americans did not run around the field looking hilarious. They charged over there and they took the British cannons. What the hell is that house doing there? This was a big, empty field. The set and the dressings, Michael, are here for artistic reasons. I don't have time to talk to you about this. Claire, when we set up the first shot... Do you I realize there were leaves on the trees? Excuse me, leaves? <laughs> yes, so what? This took place in January. Winter! Yeah. Everything you're doing here is wrong. That's right. Right. Hey, right. Hey, wrong. The whole thing is wrong. Hey, why don't you guys just can it? Yeah. You just fall down when we go back. No, we don't fall down. Michael, what exactly would you like us to do? Would you like us to run around the field picking the leaves off the trees? I would like you to do at least one thing in this movie that's historically accurate. The Americans charged the cannons. That fact is not going to change just because some jackass is making a stupid movie. <laughs> Screw historical accuracy, okay? This day is costing us $300,000. I'm not standing around shelling out $20 a second just to hear myself called a jackass. Here's 50. You're also an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> One, defy authority. Two, destroy property. Three, take people's clothes off. That's what the kids want to see. They don't care if the hats are on wrong or the buttons are on the wrong sleeve. They just want to have fun. Now get the hell over to that house or get the hell off my set. Hey, you forgot your uh, rifle. Musket, moron. Musket. Otherwise, what's the point of having us? I've been sleeping in a tent for weeks. I got ticks in my legs. And it ain't worth it. I mean, I think this is a complete waste of time. You know, I could be home painting my house right now. I don't know, Mike. We've been reenacting this battle every year for the last 15 years, and we don't run from the cannons. We charge the cannons. My little boy's going to see this movie, and I don't want him seeing me running around like some kind of goddamn chicken. If we ain't going to charge, I don't even want to go out there. Hell, I've been practicing with this thing all summer. Hey, hey come on! Hey, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I don't want to cause any trouble. What do you think we ought to do, Mike? What do you say we charge the cannons? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? What, what are these, what's this wire? That runs out to the explosives. So they can blow up the field out there. Yeah. Anybody here good with electrical things? I'm a licensed electrician. Come with me. What's, 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 Camera one, are you ready? Ready! Camera two? All set. Camera three? And camera four? Four's ready. Camera five. Set to go. And camera six. Go. All right, men, this is it. Look, Sergeant. <laughs> Thank you. Son. Go get him, boy. Oh, wait. Now, just so there are no mistakes, when the 
first cannon goes off, special effects hits the explosions, and this part of the field goes up. Okay? All right, we're rolling. Action! A little interlude, a dance, a diversion, a gossamer dream to ease our kids. Hey, look at the way I used language now. And look how much I've learned from you, huh? <laughs> hey, he kisses now. <laughs> so long, Stan. Yeah. Bo. What, what, what is it? What do you want? I just want to tell you, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ruin things for you. What are you talking about? The battle scene? Yeah. No. Are you kidding? Michael, I shot it with six cameras. I can put it together any way I want. It'll be terrific. Yeah. Michael, you're gonna love it. Okay, people, we need to load up the bus. We're gonna miss the flight. 
so long. It's very nice meeting you. It's very nice meeting you, too. I hope you didn't like your summer. No, you didn't. You really didn't. No. Bye, Elliot. Goodbye, dear boy. It's been grand. Bye, Elliot. Goodbye. It's been grand, really. We're going to miss a plane, please. I tell you what, chaps, you go on ahead and I'll catch you up later. Oh, no, 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 no. no I, I just thought we'd have a spot on the bus. Yes, yes, of course. Still a fruitcake. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Is it getting you down? Yeah, she sees things her way, I see them mine. It's kind of fun. <laughs> You're sure about that? I'm not so sure about anything anymore. That sounds even better. Listen, can I ask you something? Sir. You want to try again? Oh, uh, uh, huh? I've been thinking about that. I mean, I really wish we could. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, I, I think I could be a little less insistent on certain things. I probably could, too. I mean, I guess I really have to live at your place. Well, it does seem kind of silly of not to let you keep a shirt there. Maybe a robe. It's a real turn-off when you wear mine. You wouldn't mind if I stayed over once in a while? Maybe once a week. Sundays. Well, how about the whole weekend, as long as I'm there? Saturday and Sunday? And Friday, so I gotta get a jump on Saturday. I won't tell you how to cook. Maybe one weekend a month. Two weekends a month, and a full week on school holidays. And I'll keep a pair of jeans there and a sweatshirt. What do you think? I don't know, Michael. Maybe we should just go the whole way. Like what? Sort of a trial marriage. What do you mean? Go in there and, and get a license and everything like that? Yeah. If we don't like it after a year, we cancel it. You realize what I'm offering you? That's practically the same as living together. A year is a long time. There would be a certain amount of sewing, yeah. but not in bed. Six months. Nine. Seven. And I won't tell you how to run your career. Eight. With an option for four more. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm ready to go in here right now and put my name on a license. This offer expires in 30 seconds. I'll take a chance if you will. <laughs> 